Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. An in-state rivalry in America's heartland. Iowa and Iowa State both on the field concluding warm-ups in what is always an intense battle. The winner claims the Cyhawk trophy. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA College Football Action coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. exciting college football rivalry. This one's for state bragging rights, recruiting, and the Cyhawk Trophy. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Teams have sent their special teams onto the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 20 yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. As long as they're making completions and positive yards when they go to the air, then it can't be too that bad of a play. Three down, three down. Hey, Mike 52, Mike 52. Alert, Never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. That makes it third and 11. From their own 19-yard line, third down. He's going to go for the home run. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. Defense does a really good job here of timing it up and knocking the ball away. I think they were anticipating pass on third down. And now we'll see what happens here on this big fourth down. Smith is back awaiting the punt. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. Iowa's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes, and when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. They run it left. And he's taken down around the 34-yard line. Huff's in a running here for a prestigious award, Herbie, but you don't want to think about that right now. He's got to stay focused and keep the task at hand in front of him, and that's winning the ball game. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. tackled at the 21. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. Run the middle and nothing there. From the 21-yard line, second down. Throws it in a hurry. And 
down he goes at about the 11. Caldwell makes the tackle at the 11 yard line. First down. Double tight, double tight. Four down, four down. Key 15, key 15. Mike 41, Mike 41. Here we go. Jackson picks up two yards with a carry. Ball inside the 10-yard line. Second down. Here we go. Green nine. Green nine. Fires out to his wideout. He's tackled at about the three-yard line. Bush picks him up six yards with a catch. That'll bring up third and two. another handoff and he is drilled at the one yard line he gains a couple of yards on the carry they're going to go for the easy three here Iowa could take the lead with this field goal kicks away and it sails through the uprights time for an update from the studio Reese what have you got off we go to Mobile there was never any room to breathe in this game the Jaguars pull it out by a field goal. All right, thanks, Reese. The Hawkeyes Brown gets set to kick this one away. Townsend needs to return. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 25. The Hawkeyes are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten yards to go. Ball on their own twenty-five. him hard at the 44. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long range yards. He zips it. He's hit and taken down. Everybody was fooled on that one. And that was a good job here by the quarterback. That could have play fake as a real weapon against an aggressive defense like this. Caught with room to work. And he's shoved out of bounds right around the 26-yard line. A good play fake that time. Here, the play action was key. It held the linebackers there by the fake by the running back. And the running back did a very nice job of carrying out his fake. They'll bring him down around the 16-yard line. Makes it to the 15 yard line. That brings up second and And he makes it out to about the 14 yard line. Call it a gain of one yard. That'll bring up third and eight. From the 14 yard line, third down. Quick throw, and they make the stop at the five-yard line. The defense might need to make some changes to their coverage scheme because that was just too easy. Gets the ball here and brought down in the backfield. Did you see how quickly he was able to get into the backfield and make that tackle? Not many guys that big can move that fast. Both offenses trying to find their rhythm in that first quarter. Low scoring and close right now. Iowa leads it 
three nothing. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. New Mike 52, Mike 52. Tackle. Tackle. Tackle at the 12-yard line. The offense couldn't get those linemen blocked, and they'll lose yards. Well, here the defensive linemen did a great job at sealing up the hole at the line of scrimmage. Third and goal for the lead. He throws it. He's got it. Touchdown. And he adds the extra point. So an 11 play, 77 yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play call on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Smith takes it from the six. He's out to the 30. He's tackled at the 36. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. From their own 41 yard line, it's second down. Ready, Tackle made at the 44 yard line. He's going to try and scramble, and he throws it away. They looked a little sluggish on that series. I'm curious to see if they pick things up when they get the ball back. Caldwell awaiting the return. Looking for the corner. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Iowa State holds a four-point lead. Got a man. Watch out here. He goes out of bounds at the 29-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Taken down at the 25-yard line. The defense was just all over that play. It that didn't fool anybody. Hey, watch the ball. Watch it's the third ball. down watch and 11 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. And he's going to be sacked. And we talked all week with these coaches. And even when we met with them yesterday out at practice, they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against him, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, they better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. Brought down at the 40. Pretty good job by the return man there. Momentum swings have been fairly even. 
And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 40. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. Brought down around the 42-yard line. sideline trying to kick it out of bounds. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Iowa State is up by four. Steps out of bounds around the 23-yard line. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 23. And he tackles him hard at the 37-yard line. Brought down, nothing doing. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, gave a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. From their own 40-yard line, it's second down. Brought down in the open field. Taken down at the 45. And he's tackled at about the 41. He's at the 30, and down he goes, around the 27-yard line. Iowa State is up four. Flips it, middle to the running back. He's tackled around the 14-yard line. I like how the offense is using the pass to get him involved. He's explosive, and you just want to get the ball in his hands. From the 14-yard line, it's first down. Run left side. Runs outside for a nice game. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. They'll bring him down at the six-yard line. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. 
Fires quickly. Touchdown. And he converts the extra point. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. All right, let's check in on some games with major PCS implications. And for Arkansas, they can win their ninth game of the year today. Arkansas leads it 14-0. All right, Reese, back to our game. Smith Looks like they're time. ready for the kick. He makes it to the 25-yard line. We're about set to start things up again. It's out to around the 35. Iowa's going to take their first time out of the half. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. That's a great tackle at the 43. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. Three down, three down. Mike 41. Ready. Green 19. Green 19. They go with the screen here, and the halfback's got it. And they make the stop right around the 44-yard line. The man defense proves to be too tough against the screen. That was an excellent job by the defenders. They fought off their blocks and found the ball before the play had a chance to develop. Aaron and long. Almost intercepted. We played a half of football here. Iowa State's in front by 11. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. The first half pretty much devoid of big offensive plays. It's not really what we expected to see with these two teams, both capable of getting yards and chunks of scoring very quickly. So when you have playmakers who are bottled up for an entire half, What's the frustration level like today? Oh, it starts to get high. And as a defense, you love it. You sense it. You, it, it, you feed off of it because well, you, think about it. You got running backs that are used to making one guy miss, two guys miss, take it to the house. Well, now you're making one guy miss, two guys miss, and you're like, wait, a third guy's coming in? I mean, they're tackling so well. You're used to receivers being able to go up over DBs and make big plays, and you got DBs hanging with you and, and batting the ball down. And so it, it's just, it puts you in a situation where you're like, wait, this isn't supposed to happen. A little bit of doubt creeps in because usually you're just going up and down the field, nobody's stopping you. And you so in your mind, you think, I'm invincible. I'm not, I'm not capable of being stopped. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action, just about ready to start here. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. The Cyclones continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 25. There's a play fake. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. First down. Ready! Green 90! Green 90! 
motion, motion, motion. Pop off the left side. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. So it's second down, and the foot away from picking up the first down. Makes it to the 44. That's a gain of nine on the play. That makes it first and ten. Slings it. Tackle around the 38-yard line. Davis makes the tackle at the 38-yard line. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Double tight, guys. Double tight. Four down, four down. 117, 117. Let's go. Red, 68. Quick pass. Very good tackle in space. Call it a gain of four. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Game of six on the play. First down. This is the eighth play of this drive. He makes it to the 25-yard line. That's a game of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Second and seven. Ball on the 25-yard line. And he's level at the 10-yard line. Jones on the tackle at the 10-yard line. First this is the 10th play of this drive. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. When you're an option quarterback, you get used to getting popped pretty quickly. He'll bounce right back up. We're at the 12th play of the drive. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit to the quarterback. I'm going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. Fourth and long here after the sack. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. Kicks up, and it's good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Caldwell from the one. Tackle at the 32. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Iowa State holds an eight point advantage. Looks to his receiver, first down. He's at the 40. Makes it out to about the 39. He 
fights forward to about the 36. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Makes it to the 21. that wasn't intercepted not a very smart decision by the quarterback he had no shot at completing it from the 21 yard line it's second down nice run there it out to maybe the seven yard line game one yard. That brings that we head to the final quarter and we've got a great game on our hands iowa state's up by eight into the fourth quarter now and we're back to the action made around the six yard line that makes it 30 goal and he just gets rid of it this should be an easy field goal It's up, and he got it. A quick update now. Here's Reese. Time to get you up to date on some scores from around the country. We've been watching this thing all day long. The Razorbacks on top, 24-3. 17-6 in our game here. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the six. They bring him down, and they bring him down hard on that one. This offense is just going to be kicking themselves. They're moving the ball very well. In fact, they're getting into their opponent's territory. The only problem is they're not finishing off the drives with touchdowns. They're having to settle for field goals. That could eventually catch up to them. They'll come back out with some confidence from having put through the field goal last time. Pass is caught. The defense lays him out. That's a D number one. That makes it second and six. It's second and six. Ball on their own 27. Let's go! 180! Why? He's taken down at the 36. Gain of nine yards. First down. So they'll lose about a yard on the design quarterback keeper. From their own 35-yard line. Second down. Makes it out to about the 46. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile.
He chucks it downfield. Boy, this offense right now has got to be feeling pretty good about themselves. They hit a big play right there. Now if they can just get the ball into the end zone, you never know what could happen. So after the big pass play, we have a first and goal. Room around the corner. Touchdown, Iowa! That was a very good all-around effort. The running, the blocking, the entire package. A well-deserved score. They'll go for two in this situation. Less than three minutes in the game. And they won't get the two. A nice six-play, 76-yard drive. And they'll come away with six points after failing on the two-point conversion. Brown looks ready to kick this one off. From his own goal line. They'll bring him down at the 33-yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Caught with room to work. And he's taken down at the 41-yard line. He's at the 30, gets it to his wide receiver, and he's got another one. And he's tackled at the 18-yard line. The 10. Touchdown, Cyclones. run by the halfback to find the end zone. Good play call here by the offensive coordinator. He realizes when you get down into the red zone and you have a halfback like this, just give him the ball and let him find his way into the end zone. He makes the PAT. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. Let's take a look at scores around the country. The Bears unleash their aerial assault and score a touchdown. Park game is solid. He has a touchdown catch. Baylor leads it 7-0. And we thank you, Reese Davis. Back to the action here. Iowa State is lining up to kick this one off. Smith takes it from the 6. And he's taken down at the 27. They punched it in for six on the last series. Can they do it again? This offensive coordinator has got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receivers. Because, again, they put so much time into trying to put a plan together. And to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play call. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Quick strike, and he drops it. Smith is the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up third and four. And he throws it away. There are two minutes to go in this football game. Slings it out there incomplete. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. A conversion there could have really helped them, but it just wasn't to be. Hey. 
Well, they had a lot of success on their last possession, and now they're going to start this one off with excellent field position. It's hard to ask your defense to come out and make a stop when they're already backed up this far within their own end zone. He's tackled at about the 25-yard line. The Hawkeyes will use their first time out of the half. So it's second down and about two yards to go. And they get nice yardage on that run. The defense can't be surprised that they're running the football. But for whatever reason, they're not stepping up when they need to to be able to come up with a stop. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Harris picks up five with the carry. The Hawkeyes using their third and final timeout. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Just under two minutes in the game. Nice run, and he's brought down. So he got him up for the first down there. Yep, nice call to run the ball there on third down. I like it. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. The quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team. State 24, Iowa 12. As we take a look at the highlights, Kurt, how would you summarize the action of this one? Nothing adds to the pageantry of college football more than a good rivalry. This was a great game that should only add more fuel to the fire for next year's matchup, and boy, was it fun to watch. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.